to understand Pierre, I don't know if I fully understand Pierre, and that is part of the mystery around Dr. Damier and the elusiveness. But um, it's not that uh, it's so much hidden, it's just always wondering, like how, how? How do you, how do you attain that? So my name is Pierre Damier. I'm a professor in the Department of Material Science and Engineering in the College of Engineering, and I've been a professor uh, at this university for the past 40 years. That's four followed by a zero. I came to the university in 1985. I was a baby then, I was 25 years old, and now I direct the new Frontiers of Sound Science and Technology Center. Pierre has created a new center that is funded by the NSF at $30 million for five years, with a possible extension for another five years for another $30 million. What we are doing is developing a new science of sound, exploiting aspects that have not been studied so far to create a new fundamental knowledge as well as create new technologies. So the work that Pierre is leading here at the new center has already resulted in just 17 months in nine invention disclosures and patent applications. That is a testament to Pierre's vision and uh, you know his scientific and his technological acumen. I basically specialize in acoustics, phononics, all these are terms that describe the uh, behavior of acoustic waves in materials. We know sound has a frequency. But we can hear high, high pitch or low pitch uh, sound. Uh, we know sound has a direction. I talk to you in, and you hear my sound going toward you. We know that sound has a amplitude, um, which means I can speak uh, very loudly or not. But one thing we don't really fully realize is sound has a geometry. And interestingly, when I speak in this room, the sound that I emit is filling the room in some complex manner. It may be more intense over there, it may be less intense over here. And this landscape of sound is the foundation of what is called topological acoustics. And it's interesting to think about in the field of quantum mechanics, there are objects that are behaving just like that. So what you can do is establish analogies between the geometry of sound or topological acoustics and quantum mechanics. Weird. Only over the past um, 10, 15 years have people recognized that maybe we can engineer uh, and design uh, devices and systems that exploit these extraordinary properties that emerge from the geometry. We're using acoustics to do uh, acoustobiology. We're using acoustics to investigate effectively uh, quantum information science. We are using not acoustic but seismic waves to do sensing of the environment in Alaska. Uh, so we're doing that as part of the center and I'm having a, a great time working on all these different topics uh, and diversifying now. I was born in a town called Carpentras, which is near Avignon in the southeast of France. People know Avignon from the song On the Bridge of Avignon. I don't know if you heard that song before. It's at the base of the mountain called the Mont Ventoux, which is also a very well-known mountain when the Tour de France is climbing it in the summer. My parents had a hardware store and I have two uh, siblings, a brother and a sister. 
Growing up in near a hardware store makes life very, very exciting for kids. You can build stuff and you can destroy stuff. And with my brother, who is 14 months older than, than I am, I don't know if you remember, but in the 1970s, there were these science kits that you could buy and, and you can do experiments at home. We did a lot of experiments with this type of science kits, doing engineering at the level of, of kids. Um, raised some thing in my brain that said, these are cool stuff that you can do and uh, that you may want to do for the rest of your life. In terms of mentorship, Professor Demia is someone that leads with courage and intention. He will tell you, all right, I want you to take charge because this is your work. Hand in hand working with Dr. Damier is really kind of the biggest eye opening and amazing experience because it's firsthand. I mean, you're working with somebody who is so established and great at what he does, and it's, uh, it's just incredible. Pierre is an excellent mentor, especially for students. I've had to step into his shoes because I've taught lots of the courses he's taught with the students, and they're all continually disappointed to see that I'm teaching. <laughs> Not only do we have fantastic facilities, like here now we have this brand new, beautiful science and technology center. We've got two clean rooms that could be uh, fabricating at scale, at industry scale. Combining that with the knowledge and the theory that Dr. Damier has presented us it is going to boost our understanding on technology as we know it in ways that we've never been able to imagine. I was coming from Nigeria, I don't have anyone. I was using public bus. And he came, he said, oh, I have a bicycle at home. I have a, an extra TV, and he brought it to my apartment. That means a lot to me. So today I have the, I, it's, I'm going to call it an antique. It's going to be with me forever. So I really appreciate him. And I'm saying it again, because he is really nice. There are few people in this university and in this country that have taken an idea from its incipients to its fruition with such dedication and success. So the Da Vinci Award is a very prestigious award in the College of Engineering and given to faculty who excel in research, teaching and mentoring. In this regard, Pierre is absolutely deserving of this. And I would say that uh, we should probably make Pierre a permanent Da Vinci winner. So outside the lab, it's more as being an athlete. Scientific athletes need also to be physically fit. And biking offers a, a very good way of being physically fit. Pierre is a wonderful artist too. He actually paints really well. I'm, did a lot of oil painting. You know, mostly the sceneries in the south of France. I exhibited a bit at local painting exhibits. I never tried to sell those paintings because I think it's, I'm, I'm too much of an amateur to even try to sell paintings, but I enjoy uh, visual arts. So right now I have to admit what makes me happy are my uh, newly born granddaughters. <laughs> That's on the personal side. So I have two granddaughters, one here in Tucson, one in Connecticut, and they bring me a lot of joy. I see uh, a future, I see the next generation, I see love, I see happiness. So they, on the personal side, they are becoming uh, my joy. I've worked on many different aspects of material science and engineering, simply by curiosity, because I like that freedom of investigating new topics. What I enjoy, though, is now being the director of a uh, science and technology center, it gives you more freedom to do um, what you want to do.